Hello everyone! I'm doing a commentary guy with chips. Look, say hi now. Yo, what's up? Yeah, you read the title, you saw the thumbnail, you know what we're taking on. Tower of Curved Descent. Now I'm gonna die. Dude, I'm so glad lights and out of this. Anyways, entering the tower, take a quick right into the kitchen over here. Or well banquet room, then kitchen. And all the way to the left! Tower of Curved Descent. Anyways, I'll let showcase me take it away. Ah yes, Tower of Curved Descent. A low mid insane located in the depths of Ring 9. Uh this is this is a funny tower, honestly. Where you know it's bent. It's literally gamers postures to be fair, you know? Anyways, yeah, um there's really not much to say about it other than this tower received a whole music change and a whole revamp with its well quality of life update with its gameplay for the most part so like it's been a while also this was my first ever soul crushing that's a fun fact and if you fall from six onwards you pretty much guarantee that you die so yeah don't fall oh also this used to be extreme anyways that's enough info takes around nine to ten minutes to do i think i said that already anyways have fun with the tower i guess i don't know guide anyways keyboard cam Woo, nobody asked for this but i'm gonna give it anyways uh, it truly has been a bit since I've done this tower. A whole music revamp and a quality of life update. Anyways, floor 1 starts off pretty straightforward, I'll say. Um, it's not really a floor you can explain, you just do. It's just basic gap gameplay. Average flicks, walk down here, hold W, climb onto the platform, jump up here, yada yada yada. Unless you want me to keep repeating those words, that, this, and here, um... Yeah, there's really not much to say other than conveyor jump, don't miss the platforms. Now, we jump on the platforms that we're trying to avoid. And, yeah. Chips, did you already fall behind? Yes, <laughs> I did. Bro. I already fell behind. I failed floor one. GG. Anyways, don't fail floor one like Chips, because that is cringe. Anyways, welcome to floor two. We got some conveyor gameplay. A little truss, which really, this truss is moving just for effect. Just go around it like it was a normal truss. It's not that bad. It really isn't. Anyways, keep this in mind. Smiley face equals beat block ahead. So you're going to want to be aware of that. Anyways, just don't get hit in the platform right there. Um, I don't know why they kept that smiley face. The beat block that used to be there is completely removed now. Anyways, orb to here. Teleportation. Stay on the outward side of the spinner and be prepped to do a quick little wrap. It's pretty easy. And now we get shot up into floor two. I mean floor three. Welcome to floor three. Time for a little button hunt. We need two buttons and whatnot. Anyways, I don't know. I did not mean to go for this button first because I find this button to be the easiest. But, you know, whatever. Anyways, basic wraparound challenge. It's not... There's really not much for me to explain with Curve Descent. Until, like, floor 4. Floor 4 has some interesting jumps, I guess. Anyways, basic ladder flick here, ladder flick over there. I'm assuming by the time you're at this skill level, you know how to ladder flick, so I'm not really gonna go into detail of that. Anyways, once you spawn this box, um, prepare to jump on the box, and then jump off the box! Be quick. The box will not hesitate to take you down with it. And also, um, make sure you're on the edges so you don't get hit by the wall that's there. Not recommended. Anyways, see the smiley face, you know what to do, B block ahead. Anyways, wait for the B block to start to shrink, and then boom, that's your cue to go. Just kind of get a bit of a rhythm in your head for the B block, so when you do it. Anyways, wow, floor 4 already? This SC must be super easy. Oh, just you wait, my friend. Anyways, basic ladder flick over here, it's nothing too special anyways. And now we get for this section, this section kinda sucks. Anyways, I kind of angle myself like this, then just walk off to the truss. I go for this side of the truss instead of that side. Just find it way easier. There's multiple ways to do it, like, oh, like, not that. I was going to try to get back there to show a different way. Hold on. Anyways, like I was going to do, there's a, here's another strat that I've kind of seen people do, which is just walk off like that. That strat might be easier for you. See? Look, Chips even did it. Anyways, for this jump, angle yourself to the edge of the truss right here. Climb down just a bit so you don't hit your head, and then launch yourself up into, like, a wrap. It is a jump I would recommend practicing, because once you practice and get it down, you should be consistent. It's a fairly consistent jump. Anyways, don't get hit by the platforms here. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. And now, time for <coughs> to get a button. Oh my god, I am dying. 
If you couldn't tell, I'm sick. Anyways, flick to the trust button right there and you'll be teleported over here. Never have to do that again. Or at least you won't if you don't fall into the abyss. Welcome to floor 5. At this point, um, I wouldn't advise falling as in it's a 50-50 shot whether you'll lose all your progress or not. Anyways, be careful here. A little falling platform, wait for the looking platform there. Be quick, don't be slow. Because being slow is cringe. I mean, it's pretty easy spinner section. It's a slow spinner. Don't really need to worry much. Don't be too slow when doing this rap. And yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, this trap is pretty obvious. I think I know every anyone could see that coming with sight read. I mean, it's beat block. Wait for the beat block to deactivate and immediately go. Don't take too long on the jump. Otherwise, well, beat block will not hesitate to shut you off. We're almost out of five. Don't worry. No Only gets worse from here. Anyways, this jump, oh not this jump, this jump used to be way more gruesome and then it got nerfed, so um, yeah. I recommend doing it in first person though, and oh. This jump got way worse, it got nerfed, it proceeds to fall, okay. I'll meet you guys up there. Anyways, now that I'm back here, um, let's re repeat this. Like I said, not that bad. I'd recommend doing it in first person and being towards the back side of the jump. It's just easier in my opinion. Ignore the fact that I fell. And um, yeah, welcome to floor 6. I'm going to wait for Chips to get here. Hey, Chips here. Let's go. Anyways, please don't fail these wraps. Honestly. We got some box wraps. We have... Yeah, Chips taking over the guide right now. It's Chips' moment to shine. Guide us through curve descent as a current curve descent grinder. Okay, so whenever you have beat blocks, I recommend counting in your head one and two because they have different stages, okay? Yeah. Pretty much getting a flow in your head, doing what Chip said, or whatever floats your boat, I don't know. Different strats work for different people. Don't just rely on the strats we give. Sometimes you might need to come up with your new strat. Anyways. The second the beat block disappears, it's your moment to go. And please, for the love of God, don't be like me and hit the sides because it won't teleport you like it does here. Anyways, some basic wraparounds. You don't really need to worry about falling too much. Although, don't try falling on the conveyor. It might not work out for you. Because you get a bit of a net here. Isn't that so nice? Curve Descent being forgiving for once. I know. Anyways, beat block up ahead. Just get in the head. Boop. Boom, and oh my god, that happened. Um, be careful. Anyways, <clears throat> there is no remorse. Time for suffering. Welcome to floor seven. There is no more mercy from this point onwards. Welcome back. We have arrived to the funny part where you fall. There is no remorse. You are guaranteed the root lose your run if you fail any part of seven minus the end just like that how did i fail that don't fall like this idiot did yeah yeah anyways this time not failing the rap i literally failed it like twice it was quite funny anyways yeah, i haven't failed it a single time anyway. any yeah that was literally the first time i failed it anywho basic wrap arounds i can't really explain much here grab on the truss get to the lower end of the truss align yourself with the jump Boom. Pretty straightforward and simple. Teleported over here. Woo! Now, it's best that you start keep get your nerve control on because if you're getting shaky, well, jumps like these will get pretty tough to do. Anyways, for that rap over there, I know a lot of people struggle with. There's no way to explain it other than simply mimic exactly what I did. Anyways, be very careful here. Careful on this trust when going around. It is really easy to get yourself knocked off. And you can let go of the truss or bounce back of the truss, whatever floats your boat. And here. Now, no, if you fail the conveyor section, you will be teleported to the beginning of 7. So you don't have too much to worry about, but, you know, it's advised that you do not fall. So pretty much just look at exactly what I did and get that conveyor route on point. Anyways. I just doing that part in first person. Yeah, first person might work better than what I did. Anyways, welcome to floor 8. It is a speedrun floor, but let me tell you this. It is a very lenient speedrun floor. You don't actually need to go fast. The whole point of it is to make you nervous. 
Yeah, so take a deep breath in. And like 20 seconds. Yeah. Take a, take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Get your nerves under control. And when you're ready, proceed to start the 60 minute speed run. 60 minute. Yeah. Also, Albert's here now, so yo. Hello. Wait. Anyways. Let's have a wire thing. Hopeless hell. Anyways, take your time on with this stuff. Bounce upwards. I don't know how you can get to hopeless hell. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, did you do yeah, dude got into POM. It was shocking. Anywho, doing some basic wraparounds, head hitters. If you're around 30 seconds here, you're fine. Get a rhythm for these shovers. These are can collide true. So once they go, gonna... jump, jump, and then boom. Pretty simple. See how slow I'm going? Taking my time nice and steady. Platform bounces. Jump up here. Kinda almost missed that jump. Go at the max high and you'll be fine. Wrap around right here. Wrap around here. Head over there. And see, I took my time and I had like four seconds left. And I was going super slow, so hey, you're probably gonna go a bit faster than me because typically I take more time to explain stuff and whatnot. Yada yada. Anyways, you're getting close to the end now. Welcome to floor nine. Winner. Anyways, you did that speed run floor. Have the speed run section. Don't go too slow, but yet again, don't need to go too fast. This kill brick wall is not that fast. Once you're around here, you're pretty much safe from the wall. Yeah, once you're on the other side of trust, you're. Now, once you're off the trust, you're safe. Yeah, there, there you go. Anyways, doing some baker basic wraparounds. Just don't panic, really. The jumps are easier than you may think. And whatnot. Just don't panic. Get yourself to the very edge here. Jump like that. Pretty much mimic exactly what I did to successfully do that jump. Jumping up here. Head hitter gaming. And gaming. um yeah. Nothing really too much. Don't be too close to the wrap uh, right here. I recommend backing up to the last two studs a bit before doing it. It's just a way I've always done those types of wraps. And yeah. Anyways, for this part, I will say if you fall oh well, I fell before I could even explain, but I fell on nine, so I'm lucky. Anyways, not failing that rap again. If you fall at anywhere at this point, you'll be teleported to the beginning of nine, so I don't really have to worry too much for this section. But it is advised that you don't fall because, well, if you don't fall, you'll get to floor ten. Press this button and open up the gate. This is it. All your works come down to this final floor. It is all or nothing. Keep in mind you do have some catch pads here, but I'll be honest, they're not really too useful in the long run. Anyways, deep breath in, deep breath out, control your nerves. Let's get into the madness. Starting off with some basic wraparounds, then I get this little section. Just don't jump. Jumping is cringe in that part. It will not do you any good. Little spinner over here, up to here. And yeah, just take your time with these wraparounds, seriously. Except for this wraparound, because you, or well, not this wraparound, this jump, because you're on kill break. Be careful with that wrap, too. It is at an angle. You need to be very careful. Sometimes you're gonna need to jump late. Sometimes just make sure you practice this wrap. This wrap is that wrap over there is annoying. Anyways, back to more wraps. Just take your time with them. Recommend going in first person for this. Or not and fall like I did. Cool, I'm godly. This one I recommend doing in first person. Make sure not to turn too late, otherwise well, you'll have an unfortunate fate. Same with this jump, make sure you don't turn too late. And this one I would advise doing in third person because of the way the jump is. Yeah, ju just because of the way the jump is, you know? You know, you feel you feel me when you say that? Anyways, don't take too long on that exposure spinner thing. It'll, you will die. It will not hesitate to game end you. I'm just doing some basic crafts. At this point in the tower, there's really nothing left for me to explain, as in, it's just basic wraparound. So take your time with this tower. Just take your time. Make sure you don't let nerves get to you, and have a blast, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, we're coming closer and closer to the end. Be very careful for this jump. Last jump, I can truly explain. Jump from the left. Be careful here, and if you do think you might fall, notice the catch zone below you. Take, Try to take advantage of that, because that jump is an easily failable jump. 
But if you pass that, I would say you're pretty much in the clear. Press this button to get to the final stretch, and, um, well, final stretch. My only advice to you is look at it. Take a good look at it. It's just filled with basic wraparounds. It's a simple little speedrun section. Don't go slow. And, yeah, just watch and learn. Bada bing, bada boom. Congratulations. This time I recorded. You have beaten Curved Ascent. Woo! I'm currently on the Nice. Hopefully Chips wins. So yeah, fun fact about this Curved Ascent guide. This took longer than Toso. Not to mention, I had to re-beat it twice because I beat it yesterday and then forgot to unpause the recording. I'm so smart. Yeah, this Curve Descent guide took me a lot more effort than I thought it would. It's probably not even gonna turn out that well. But, um, yeah. Congratulations, you beat Curve Descent. I don't really know what more to say. Um, Chips, what do you have to say for closing us out? I'm on turn. That's all. Alright, let's see if Chips does it. If Chips falls, the video ends instantly.